you seen her to help you open up? Cos she's not into a later. Anyway, if you're feeling rough, it's your own fault. Did you lock the door last night? Yeah, of course I did. Where are you going? Wait here. No chance. Well, both the tills are still here. There's no booze missing. Good, because I could do with a drink right now. How much did you and Steve have to drink last night? Oh, enough to leave the door wide open. Come on, let's check the back room and all. You probably had more than you thought. It's easily done. Maybe we're worried about nothing. We'll be laughing about it later. Somehow I think not. <sighs> so I'm not going to be living here anymore? No. The thing is, love, uh, you're going to be living somewhere else for a while. How long? Don't know. Months, maybe more, if you like it. Oh, like a holiday? Yeah. Yeah, sort of. Oh, I haven't brought my swimming costume. It's OK. I'll buy you another one. I've just seen Gail Pat going to work in her overalls, carrying a mop and bucket. It's just the little things that make life worthwhile. Everything all right? Yeah. Um, the care home called when you were out. They can take Leslie this afternoon. You know, like a trial period. See how she settles in. That's good news, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I don't know. It's hard enough trying to explain to her what's going on now, what it's going to be like when I have to leave her. Whatever happens, you won't be on your own. Thank you. So what time are you going? Uh, 11. Well, we've got to be at the airport at 11, so the taxi's coming in an hour. Sounds like you can't wait to get away. <sighs> it's not like that. I'm not doing this to score points or to try and hurt you. I'm sorry if this is upsetting you, but I but told you... But you're still going. Night, I told you last night what I was planning to do. Yeah, you told me. You never asked me. OK. I'm asking you now. Come with us. Please. If not for me, then do it for Ashanadi. I can't. You mean you won't? Same thing? No. It's not. Have it your way. You usually do. Hey, are you all right? Well, not really, no. I just saw Callie tell me what happened. How much did they take? Nearly two and a half grand. Oh, no. I don't suppose you heard anything last night, did you? No. Have you spoke to Eva? She's dead in X. Nothing's been touched upstairs. Looks like they just went for the safe. Oh, well, that makes me feel a lot better. Well, that could be worse. At least no one was hurt. Look, I'm finding it a bit hard to look on the bright side of things, so just give it a rest, eh? You, uh, any idea how they might have got in? Ask Calamity Carly. Look, I know you're angry at me, but there is no way I'd have left the door open like that, no matter how much I'd had to drink. Yeah, but you did forget to set the alarm, didn't you? Well, I must have. You must have? Well, I'm not sure, am I? Because if I was, I'd have set it and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Oh. What are you doing? Calling the police. No, I got us into this mess. I'll call them and sort it out. Oh, you think you can manage that, do you? Hey, come on, there's no point rowing about it now. Why don't we just go in here, have a coffee and wait to see what the police say, eh? Right. Stella. What? I'm sorry. Here I know. I wish you were coming with us. So do I, but Mummy has to work. Can't you pull a sickie? No, I cannot pull a sickie. I'll call you every day at bedtime. You'd be a good girl. And you'd be a good boy. And remember to hit that little ball with a big bat. It's a club. I know. I was teasing. Right. Come in, you guys. In the car, put your seatbelts on. Still come with us, not too late to change your mind. So could you. You know, maybe it's not such a bad thing, me uh, and I'm going away for a while. Yeah, I think we could both do with a break from each other. No, I meant that uh, being apart, we might be able to appreciate yeah. what we've yeah, uh, that too. got. Yeah. Um, okay, let's get. Don't miss the plane. Okay. Oh, 
Now, where are they off to? Mallorca. Dev's taking Ardi on a golfing holiday. Oh, hey, you don't get any clever ideas. You'll be lucky to get a wet weekend in Bridlington. Enjoy the peace and quiet while you can. Thank you. I'll try. Is this my room? Not bad, eh? Look even better when you've got a few pictures and things up. Can you see the garden from the window? Just about. Would you like to go outside and have a proper look? If that's OK. Yeah, fine. Right, Leslie. Off we go. Looks like Leslie's found a friend. Oh, hey. You know, you really ought to slow down. You'll be giving yourself an ulcer. So, what do you want? You just coming to take the mickey out of me, or is there a reason for your visit? Yes, actually. I picked up some post on the way out the flat, and I got to the factory. I realised one of them was for you. Looks official, baby. It's from Leanne's solicitor. She's pushing for custody of Simon. Apparently, I've got to attend a mediation meeting, whatever that means. She said she were going to do it. Yeah, well, I kind of hoping she'd forget about it. What, for old time's sake? No. For Simon's sake. Are you going to go? Well, what do you think? I'm just going to hand him over to him. Of course I'm going to go. I'm sorry, lover. You know, apart from you, he's the only good thing in my life at the moment. Well, maybe you ought to start fighting for him rather than take it out on me and everybody else. You're right. You know, and we'd also save an awful lot of time if you just... Accept that as a given. But I'm right. A week's takings? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. How did they get in? Uh, through the back door. I forgot to set the alarm. And that's the night they decided to do it. God, I thought I had bad luck. <sighs> what did the police say? We don't know. They haven't bothered turning up yet. What time did you call them? Well, I didn't. Carl did. Uh, no, I never. What? <sighs> well, I was going to. And then I started thinking about what I was going to say, you know, because the alarm and the door being open and how that might affect the insurance. And I remembered there's something I had to do upstairs, and by the time I'd done it, it sort of slipped my mind. Slipped your mind? We've just been robbed. Did you fall over and bang your head or something? Because I swear you are starting to lose the plot. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'll do it now. Oh, don't bother. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll get him to call you when I see him. And I'm really sorry. Bye. Hey, you right, mate? You been busy? Uh, not really. Right, well, here now. Let me slip into something a bit more grease stained. Uh, before you do that, Dorian's just phoned. She wants you to call her. Why, right, what's up? Maybe you should just call her. Daft tired, just tell me what's wrong. It's your granddad, Jeff. What about him? He's had a heart attack. Well, is he all right? They've rushed him to the hospital, but he died. Is this some kind of wind-up? No, it's not. I wouldn't do that to you. I can't believe it. I'm really sorry, mate. I know how close you was to him. I only spoke to him the other day. It doesn't make sense. How, how could he be dead? Maybe you should go home. Probably in shock or something. No, I don't, I don't want to go home. I don't want to be on my own. Soft's that. You've just lost your granddad. There's nothing soft about it. I was going to close up early anyway, so, um, why don't you call Doreen? Give us a chance to finish this job and then we'll go to the pub. Raise a glass to him, okay? Okay. Uh, clothes are in there, and um, there's a separate bag for toiletries and makeup and things. So, uh, any time you want me, call me on my mobile, day or night, doesn't matter. I'm sure Leslie will be just fine, but maybe now would be a good time to say your goodbyes. See you tomorrow just to make sure you're all all right. Can I get a hug? Oh, if you like. <laughs> I 
see you soon, yeah? Should we get you settled in? It's all right. Oh, it's gonna be all right. Come on. <laughs> Let's get your hand. <laughs> right, that's that sorted then. You call the police? Yeah. I dialed the number and they answered. Just like that. Amazing, isn't it? I'm sending someone over later. What did you tell him? I told him the truth. The back door was unlocked and that the safe was empty. They were interested in why nothing was forced open. You know, I've been thinking, what if they didn't break in? What if, I don't know, someone hid in the toilets whilst we locked up and then waited till we were asleep and then took the money and went out the back? We always check the bags. That still doesn't explain how they opened the safe. Unless they knew the combination. How could they? Well, everyone who works here knows the combination. So? So maybe you and Tina were talking one night and someone overheard you. So you're saying it's our fault? All I'm saying is two and a half grand has gone missing. And whether they came down the chimney or through the toilets, something is not right. Where are you going? You accused us before of taking money from the till. Oh, I made a mistake. Yeah, and guess what? You're making one again. I come here to work, not to be called a thief. Going home. Oh. Sunita, wait. What'd you do that for? Don't turn this back on me. This is your fault. Oh, thanks for your support. Oh, what do you want? A pat on the back for being a flaming liability? Oh, well, if that's the way you feel, maybe I should leave it all before I cause any more damage. Yeah, why don't you? And don't hurry back. Hey. Got your letter. What? Your letter from your solicitor. You love it, don't you, Leanne? Eh? You love twisting the knife. Uh, excuse me, I was the one who was stabbed in the back, in case you've forgotten. Ah, so this is just about getting even, then, is it? No, it's not. It's about what's best for Simon. And now he's taking him away from his dad. What's best for him? <laughs> Some dad you turned out to be. Willing to do time for somebody you've been shacked up with for all the five minutes. Yeah, it'd make a great Father's Day story, that, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, we can't all be perfect like you, Leanne, can we? I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I would never walk out on him like you were ready to. Yeah, well, you may as well forget it, because he's staying with me. I'll see you in court. You OK? Do I seem OK? Listen, what Stella said earlier about the money, she didn't mean it. She was just angry at me. Don't let it get to you. I don't care about the money or Stella or even my job anymore. I don't care about anything. Why have you been crying, then? Do you want to understand? Try me. You two are starting a bit early, aren't you? Hey, I hope you're not fixing anyone's car that I know. We've closed up for the day. Oh, how come? I'll tell you later. I made you a cuppa. Ta? You like me, you? What do you mean? Well, you don't really do, sorry. <sighs> sorry. Well, I understand why you're upset, OK? But there's no way it means Anita would ever steal off you. Oh, I know it wasn't you. I just still can't understand how it happened. It's like you said yourself, it's not like a pair of scumbags came in, nicked some fags and ripped the condom machine off the wall. They knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah, but it's like they knew everything, where the safe was, how to open it. Yeah, why don't you just wait until the police get here, right? I'm sure they've got an idea of how it happened. Oh, yeah, I hope so. It's not just Dev's fault. We're both as stubborn as each other. Recently, what we do is fight. Most of the time, it was about Amber. But now she's gone, I realise that she was almost an excuse for us to lash out at each other. Most couples around. You should have heard me and Stella after you left the pub. Difference is, she still loves you. What are you saying? That you don't love Dev anymore? I'm not sure. I'm not sure of anything right now. Yeah, I know the feeling. You and Stella are different, though. OK, you're having a hard time, but you're both strong. You will get through this. That's the problem. It's not just about me and Stella. Not anymore. What do you mean? No, oh, it's just I've got a lot on my plate at the moment. Look, I know this isn't the answer, but I could do with something stronger than coffee. Would you fancy joining me? I've got a bottle of wine in the fridge. You want to be careful. 
Look what happened last time. Don't worry. I'm not going to kiss you again. <laughs> I meant you getting arrested. Oh. You fancy a drink or not? After day I've had, most definitely. Cheers for this, mate. Well, I think I owe you a couple from the other night. No, not, not the beers. I'm about the company. Well, I'm not going to leave you on your own, am I? How are you feeling? I can't get my head around it. The, the fact that he's gone, I mean, it's, it's... Keep going over the last time I spoke to him. Oh, I didn't speak to him. What are you on about? <sighs> rang a couple of days ago. I was getting ready to go out, and even though I could tell he really wanted to talk, I just... <sighs> just kept forming him off with one-word answers. And practically up on him. I'd give anything to have that chat now. Oh, flaming hell, who's died? Your granddad. <laughs> That's not funny. He's not joking. <gasps> Tommy, I'm so sorry. All right, you, you were to know. Look, I, uh, I finished my shift in a bit. How about I join you for a drink, eh? <sighs> I'm not much company. Hey, you'll do for me. <laughs> Flaming hell, I should have been meeting Kirsty back at ours half an hour ago. Best give her a ring. Just, just go, mate. I'll, I'll be all right. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll look after him. Sorry I'm late. I just feel trapped, you know. Like one of them flies banging its head against the window over and over again, trying to get out. Does that sound mad? Nope. Not at all. I don't know. Maybe I just need a little excitement in my life. It's overrated. Trust me. What do you mean? Just don't do anything now that you'll regret down the line. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Let's just say you're not the only one who feels trapped. Hey, maybe you should slow down a bit. You don't want to be drunk if you've got to talk to the police later. Don't I? Hang on, Carl. What's wrong? It's fine. Just leave it. Well, if there's something upsetting you, then tell me. I can't. Why not? I thought we were beginning to understand each other. I thought we were supposed to be friends. Because I'm ashamed. Ashamed of what I've done. Ashamed of what I've become. I don't understand. You're not making any sense. It was me. The breaking. It was me. Do you want to set the table? Because this is nearly ready. Yeah, sure. What are we having? It's a surprise. Or at least it will be a surprise if it's edible. You are not that bad a cook. <laughs> you are not that good a liar. If, as I suspect, it is inedible, how about I go out and get us fish and chips? Well, let's just try it first, eh? What? Sorry. Um. It's going to take me a while to get used to not having her around. Sit down, love, and I'll bring the food out. <sighs> Where have you been? I was worried. Really? I tried calling your phone, but it was off. That's because I switched it off. Because I didn't want to hear any of your pathetic excuses about where you'd been and why you couldn't be bothered to turn up. Well, I can explain if you just give me a chance. Go on, then. But I am warning you, this better be good. Well, I went to the Rovers with Tommy. <laughs> and that's the best you could come up with. I haven't finished yet. Yeah, well, I have, and so's this conversation. And you know what? So's dinner. <laughs> now, why don't you go back to the pub and Tommy? Because I have had it up to here with you. Why? Did you hear me? I told you to go. He doesn't need me now. He's got Tina. What do you mean he doesn't need you? I went to the pub with Tommy because he was upset. His granddad died today. I want you to go now. Look, you can't tell Stella any of this. Please, promise me. Tell her what? That it wasn't me or Tina that took the money? That it was you? You don't understand. I was desperate. I had to pay off my debts. 
What debts? Take your pick. Bank, bookies, credit cards. I'm up to my eyes in it, Sunita. I can't believe it got this bad. I mean, I was doing okay for a while. Then it got on top of me. Started getting extra shifts on the cars to try and pay for the gambling, but it wasn't enough. Then I started lying, lifting money from the till, and I kept thinking if I don't get one big hit, you know, one good night on the tables, everything would be all right. But it just got worse. And now there's all of this, and I just don't know what to do. This isn't going to go away, Carl. Stella's going to find out sooner or later. And what about the police? They're going to know something's not right. You've got to tell her. How can I tell her? I lied to her. Stole from her. She'd never forgive me. Can't do it. I can't. Then I can't help you. I'm sorry. The money will come out and will stick to this device. That's why it's called a cash trap. These guys could be making upwards of tens of thousands of pounds a week. Well, not for long. The police are on the case. Ford Squad is next. <laughs>